In 2000, you inspired me to get clean. 2009 was the last time I ever touched drugs. My, my mom has been like back and forth in the hospital. And that's why like in October I stopped getting the tickets because um, she passed away. I hope those are tears of joy. Joy and... and Sorrow. And, yeah. Sorrow. Yeah, she was one of my best friends. This is the courtroom of Judge Frank Caprio, where people and cases are met with compassion. A different kind of judge. A courtroom like no other. This is Caught in Providence. Well, Poopa Low. Good morning, uh, well, Poopa. You know, uh, our usual cameraman is not here. His name, the cameraman's name is Joe. He happens to be my brother, but you look like Joe. You think he looks like Joe, Simon? Yes, sir. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I don't know if you remember me. I was like 2000. I, I, I came here and I, I just got out of jail. And you, and I was in, in the program, uh, Salvation Army. And you, uh, you gave me a break. Uh, got all my stuff uh, straightened out when I was uh, trying to get my life together. How long ago was that, sir? 2000. Oh, that was 22 years ago. I finally made it. I uh, I got like 14 years clean now, and uh, I still go to the programs and stuff. But uh, in 2000, you inspired me to get clean. I got clean for 18 months. I relapsed, but then uh, 2009 was the last time I ever touched drugs, wow. any kind of drugs. Well, I am so honored that I had. Uh some influence on you yeah. to change your life. That's interesting. I thank you for that. Well, I, I appreciate you mentioning that. I mean, you're here today for traffic violations. It's yeah, nothing serious, but you're off drugs. Exactly. What, what do you do? Are you working? No, I retire now. Yeah. You I retire. got SSI. So what, what about your family? Do you have any family? Yeah, I got uh, three sons. I have, a do I have a daughter, but she passed away. She, uh, the OD on fatten up three years ago. And uh, I have three sons. They live with you? Um, two of them, yeah. They help you out? No, yeah, I help them out. You help them out? Yeah, they help them. Yeah, we help each other. It's going to cost you a total of $200. It's $100 on each plate. Thank you. Uh, Can you pay that today? I just have to go uh, talk to my sons. You're going to have your son help you out? Yeah. One ticket was two hundred and seventy dollars, and the other ticket was three hundred and fifty-five. Yeah. And I reduced both of them to a hundred dollars each. Thank you. Anna. So, you're not working, and you're on SSI. Yeah. All right. I'm going to cut that fine in half. The one on the registration that ends in three hundred one, which is a Dodge, I, I find you a hundred dollars. But we're going to pay that from the Philomena Fund. The Philomena Fund is a fund named after my mom. Really? So Thank we're going to use $100 from the Philomena Fund to help you out on that ticket. Thank you so much. Okay. And he has such a great attitude. We're going to use the Philomena Fund for both of these. So I owe nothing? You're going to owe nothing when you leave, right? But you're going to make a promise that you don't do it again. Try, I would try. You came before me when you had all kind of problems, right? You told me with drugs. I gave you a break. You said I changed your life. Yeah, you did. Yeah. So yep. we'll see if we can change your life again. All right. I will. I'll go. 100 percent. I'll give it. Good luck. Have a great day. Cecily speaks. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, you have a red light violation on Broad Street and Baker Streets. Who's this with you? Oh, this is my uncle. Your uncle? Yes. All right. And what, sir, you want to push the mask down? Hi. What, what is your name, sir? My name's Jeffrey Speaks. Jeffrey? Yes. Okay. Are you here to pay? Or we, why are you here? Yeah, I'm here to help her pay. You're here to help her pay? Yeah. And you're her uncle? Yes, sir. It's a nice family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is a close-knit family. You're lucky to have an uncle that would come in for you. Yeah. She has a whole bunch of overnight parking tickets. Yeah. So she was living somewhere where she's at her address, and evidently she didn't have a parking spot. So she parked overnight on the street. 
and then she got one ticket, and then two, and then three. And finally, she got 11 tickets for parking overnight on the street. Yeah, so what do you want to tell me about that? Um, <coughs> so my, my mom has been, like, back and forth in the hospital um, through that time period. And, like, I, I needed to be at her house, but, like, she had a car. She had her parking space, but I had to, like, be there, take care of her. Um, and that's why, like, in October, I stopped getting the tickets because um, she passed away. And so we got rid of her car and everything. Um, and I'm trying to figure out a way to fix it. Um, I don't want that on my record. Um, I have to take, take care of my little brother now. So I'm trying to, like, figure this out. How old is your little brother? He's 12. And you're taking care of him? Yeah. And your mom passed away? Yeah. Is that your sister? Yes. Yes, sir. Do you have any children of your own? I got three. You got three? Yes. You have 11 overnight parking tickets. Yeah. And these parking tickets are all addressed to you taking care of your mom who passed away after that. You were providing care and comfort and support for her during her last days. Yeah. Which is exactly what you should have been doing. Yeah. So, I want to congratulate you on helping your mom. It speaks volumes about your character and about your family's character, about how you were raised and how much you cared and loved your mom. So, Thank you. So all of those 11 overnight parking tickets are going to be dismissed. Thank you. Which is exactly what your uncle wants me to do. Is that right? <laughs> Yes, sir. Thank you. Whose picture is that, sir? That's my sister, Michelle. That's your sister? That that's, your, that's your mom that yes. passed away? Yeah. What's her name? Michelle. Now, it's the judgment of the court that these matters are dismissed. We want to thank you. We want to thank you for what you've done for your family. You're setting a great example for others who know what you've done. But your love and appreciation of the contributions of your mom just resonate with us. And, Thank you. You've got a great family. Your uncle was here today willing to pay anything that came up. So Yeah. Thank you. I want to congratulate you, sir. You know, that's what families are supposed to do. Unfortunately, it doesn't always happen, you know. But you coming down here today for your niece in memory of your sister. So these are on Michelle. So Michelle is looking down at you, and she sort of gave me a message to help you out today. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Thank you. Good luck. <clears throat> Sonia and Nance. Good morning. Sonia, you have a uh, parking ticket Thank you. and a red light violation. I do. The red light violation was on Eddie and Dudley Street. Yes. Do you remember this? I do. What do you want to tell me about it? Um, my husband was in a medical crisis and he was at Rhode Island Hospital. Is he here? Mr. Speaks. He was just up here with his niece. Is that your husband? Yes. What is this, a family affair today? <laughs> He's come to help us all. <laughs> uh, what are you looking for, the discount for, like, a, <laughs> no. you're looking for a family discount today? No. What's he, going on here? He was in a medical um, crisis in Rhode Island Hospital. He was? Yes. Um, but his family's gone through something, right? It's yeah. Just, and it was, um, I believe it was like August 17th, I think it yeah. was. Yeah. Anyway, his sister, his sister died. Yeah. Then he had a crisis. He had, he had his first. And, um. And I was on my way to try to get into um, Rhode Island Hospital, yeah. And I was kind of like all emotional, so I didn't know where I was going. And I didn't realize that I couldn't turn there, but I couldn't figure out how to get into the hospital. <laughs> and the ambulance wouldn't let me ride with them, so I, I didn't know. So, so he was in the ambulance. He, he was in the ambulance in, in the ER, yeah. Going to the hospital, and you were going to the hospital. And this Eddie and Dudley is right at the hospital. Yeah, it's and I, yeah, I, didn't know what, I didn't know how to get in there. Um, so I just, I was lost. And I, and I work at the hospitals. There's no way in the world I should be lost. But it was just more emotional than anything else. I'm going to dismiss that case, obviously. Thank you. Based on those circumstances. Thank you. We're happy to see he's doing great. I'm happy to see he's doing great. If he would just keep listening to me, it would be much better. Why is it, yes. why is it that some wives, not all wives, say, if, if only my husband would listen to me, right? I know Inspector Carrigan's wife must say that. <laughs> the only ones that don't say it is because the husbands already listen to them. That's it. The ones that say it remind us we have to listen to them. Yes. They're right more than they're wrong, but 
in my case, I think they're right. We are. All right. Then you have a parking ticket, parking in a crosswalk. Yeah, and actually that one, it just slipped my mind with everything that was going on with um, going with Michelle and dealing with Chelsea and things like that, and I honestly just forgot to pay it. All right, the parking ticket's going to cost you $30. Okay. Mm. We're Thank gonna, you. We're going to reduce the uh, offense to parking in a prohibited area. So it's going to cost $30. Thank you. This is a great family. You know, you have the uncle coming in for his niece, his sister's picture. Right? Unfortunately, she, she died. He was in the emergency room. His wife was there supporting him. It's a nice family. Nice family. Thank you. Setting a good tone for a whole bunch of people. Thank you. You know, the basic unit of society is the family unit. Family unit. And it just tears me apart, which sometimes we see in here, you know, families torn apart, you know, and coming in, blaming other members of the family, and they don't talk, and it's controversy. And it's, it's very sad. So it's uh, something that gives me confidence in the future of this country that we see close-knit families. So thank you. you're a good example for everyone. I'm sorry. Do you have any tissue at all? <laughs> well, I hope those are tears of joy. Joy and... and Sorrow. And, yeah. Sorrow. Yeah, she was one of my best friends. Because you're thinking of your sister-in-law. Yeah, she was one of my best friends. I'm trying not to cry because Chelsea's here, but she went outside, so I'm trying not to cry. I'm really trying. <laughs> I think you're sending a wonderful message. Thank you. To a whole bunch of people, some of whom need it. Thank you. Some of whom need it, you know, and... Uh, the fact that you're being emotional about it just shows the depth of your love and commitment to your sister-in-law, which is which is what families are all about. Yeah, thank you. So, I'm dismissing this ticket. Thank you. Thank you. This is on your sister-in-law. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank I really you. appreciate it. Matter is dismissed. Good luck to you. Thank you. Have a great day. Stay blessed. Thank you. Thank Good you. Luck, sir. Don't forget.